Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for another weekly update. This is actually a little bit over what's new on KDB Command. So obviously we are one day away from family reunion, officially starting, really two days away. I know tomorrow's like the welcome event and everything. Um, Saturday's obviously the first really big day. All right, but KW Command is obviously going to be launching very soon. So if you go to agent.kdb.com, you may already have access to everything, and more than likely most of you guys probably will if you sign in with your login and password. All right, but a lot has actually launched even over the past night. All right, so logging in last night, I didn't want to make this too late for you guys. Um, I was afraid I was probably going to be delirious if I tried to make this late at night. All right, but now you should have access to landing pages, reports, and even email campaigns on here too. All right, so smart plans, you'll have access to it, but once again, it hasn't launched quite yet. All right, but over here, I'm going to click on this. A new update as well. This does not automatically pop up. It just comes over here with the icons, but you can click this to actually see everything too. All right, so that way you can familiarize yourself with what the icons are, so that way you won't have to click it. All right, but if we take a look at this on reporting on here, all right, it's pretty nice. You can actually see how your contacts were added inside, how they came in. All right, you can actually view all the sources on here too, and you can actually search by the source or even the year that everything was, or not year, but the time frame everything was added in. You can view all the new contacts, all right, how many opportunities you currently have. All right, and then you can actually view the report of your buyer opportunities, listing opportunities, very soon your GCI on here too, all right, and then even all the contacts as well, all right, whether it's today, yesterday, this week, last week, as you see this month, last month, or even year to date. All right, so that way you can actually see how many new contacts you have, how many notes are in there, how many emails have been sent out, or even how many texts too. All right, so this is all just under the reporting section on here. All right, so let's go back on here. Now, in addition to that, you also can have email campaigns. Now, one thing to note, I've already got mine linked up on here. You will need a MailChimp account in order to access this. All right, so if we come on here, then you can actually view your current campaigns, if you have any created, all right, or your lists that are linked up on MailChimp too. All right, so I've got my little list on here, my tips emails. All right, so that way you can actually go through and edit everything, and it'll sync up with MailChimp on there. All right, now, I don't know if KDB is going to be coming out with any type of you know, discounted one for MailChimp or if it'll be completely free for you guys because obviously the free MailChimp account is 2,000 contacts and 12,000 emails per month or just 2,000 contacts in general. All right, so we'll see. Hopefully more information will be found at Family Reunion, but you will need a MailChimp account in order to utilize email campaigns. Now, if you click on Create Campaigns up here, you can actually just create the name, select the list that you want to send this out to, all right, and then you can even choose from a template. Now, currently there aren't any templates. So obviously we're probably going to see some more information on this coming at Family Reunion, but I want to show you how simple it is just to kind of go through and start that. All right, and then the final item that just recently launched last night too are landing pages. All right, so for landing pages on here, and I did a test one last night as you can see, all right, the main thing that's going to pop up on here, if you go through your landing pages, it's going to sound exactly what it looks like, it's just different landing pages for you to utilize for marketing purposes. All right, but if we click on Create Landing Pages up here at the top right, all right, you can create your name, I'm going to put in here test number one. We can uh, select, obviously, the page or template we want to utilize. So the main template that's currently on here is the Market Snap default template. All right, and then we can even put inside our postal code. So I'll put inside mine over here. We'll configure it. All right, and then it's automatically going to come up with some info on here. Now, if you notice, then we'll need to go through and kind of tweak everything. All right, so we need to actually go through and tweak, like, our branded header on here. We'd also need to go through and update the market snap. All right. So for instance, it didn't pull over that zip code quite yet. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to say this is over in Colonial Town Center. All right. And much like we saw previously over on like the Kelly snaps where we can send this out very similar where we can actually filter out the lore on here for all, whether we want the market center team agent or just everything. So I'll click apply changes real quick and then it'll start to pop up on here. All right, so that way we can actually get an idea as to where this is pulling from. And once again, this is coming from Nextdoor. And what we heard from KW support is that this is actually pulling from Nextdoor for their data for the past about 24 to 48 months. All right, so just to give you a heads up on there. Um, some different MLSs they specified would actually only go up to like the past six months. All right, but usually it tries to go all the way back to 48 months. So I just want to give you a heads up when you're seeing like that average listing price or average sold price. That might be a little bit different on there. All right, but once this is completed, obviously you can go through, you can add inside different local insights too. All right, much like we would search previously, it looks like that's not working quite yet either. Once again, this just launched last night. All right, then you can actually update the lead form on here, like your header. All right, obviously 30 characters, that's perfect on here. All right, and then even the agent branding down here. So at the very bottom, all right, then the agent branding will pop up too. 
I obviously she's a little bit more attractive than me, but I probably want to add inside my headshot. I want to add inside my info on here too. All right, so I can actually go through and just as an example, I'll put inside you know, a couple of these items real quick. I'll put in my email. Awesome, and I'll put in my website too. All right, and my phone number. All right, just to get an idea on here. All right, then of course there's additional items you can add in too. All right, but if I click Apply Changes, we'll notice at the very bottom, this is going to start to update on here, too. All right, so I just want to give you a heads up on that. You can actually go through and tweak this. Now, obviously, this is currently coming out, so I just want to give you a heads up on that. So not everything is uh, officially live quite yet. But then if I click up here, I scroll back up, and I click the Publish option, then I can actually publish this immediately to utilize. Now, you can go back and you can tweak this as well. So this one's currently active. All right, and I can just click on this URL, and then I can hand this out to people, and I can use it over on Facebook ads. I can post it on my social media. I can put it over on my websites if I want to. All right, I can direct people back here, whatever you want to do. All right, and this will automatically take them over where they can view this for the market snap. So that's the main landing page that's available. Now, you can always click the three dots on the right-hand side if you want to go through and edit it or deactivate it. All right, so completely up to you in this case. I'm going to deactivate that real quick. So there you go. All right, so that's an overview of the three newer items that have just recently come out as of the 13th. Now, once again, not everything, as you saw in there, is completely available, especially on the email campaigns and landing pages, but I wanted to give you an overview as to what's currently available on here for you. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.